Significant inflation is back. Is there anything we can do from a tax perspective to help offset and manage it? I'm Sean Mullaney, financial planner. Let's find out. So what is inflation? Inflation is just the reduction in the real value of a currency. So what happens is $1 today buys less than it did yesterday. Now, unfortunately, right now, the United States is going through a period of somewhat significant inflation. We don't know how long this is going to last, but the dollar is losing real value. And this creates some tax problems. For example, a worker who makes $100,000 and then gets a 10% raise that's mostly due just to inflation now makes $110,000, but they're making the same as they did last year when they made $100,000, but they now need to pay tax on more income, nominally anyway. What about asset prices, right? If someone buys an investment for $10, and then the price of that investment goes up to 11 because of a 10% inflation rate, well, there's been no real economic gain to the investor, but if they sell that asset, well, now they're gonna have a capital gain of a dollar that's only due to inflation. It's not real income, it's not a real accretion to wealth or increase in financial resources, but they're taxed on it. How can we plan from a tax perspective to help offset this? To my mind, the, the main way to think about that is through retirement accounts. Retirement accounts such as 401ks, IRAs, Roth IRAs, they're great for building up wealth. But the traditional retirement accounts leave investors significantly exposed to inflation. Inflation artificially drives up asset prices. Amounts in traditional 401ks, traditional IRAs, those things are going to have to come out at some point, either to fund the investor's life, for Roth conversions, for required minimum distributions, for beneficiary uh, distributions upon inheritance, that money is going to get taxed. And that money is going to grow because of inflation. So there's going to be a tax on a nominal, not real from an economic perspective, growth in that asset. So traditional accounts are exposed to problems because of inflation. But what about Roth accounts? Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks, and the like, there's no tax on the way out when there is a distribution to help fund an investor's lifestyle. So that means that inflation does not really harm Roth accounts. And Roth accounts act as a tax hedge against inflation. In theory, inflation could go to 1,000%, and someone in a Roth account doesn't really care because the amount's gonna be tax-free, whether it's $100, $1,000, or a million dollars. Done right, the withdrawal will be tax-free. So Roth accounts are a great way to help protect against some of the deleterious effects of inflation. And look, traditional versus Roth is a multivariable calculus, but inflation is one consideration that would point to making Roth contributions instead of traditional contributions. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.